What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to easily set up your Facebook pixel through Facebook's business manager. And it's really simple to do. You're not going to have to touch any coding. And so with that said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your business meta suite and this page should show up. And so what you're going to do is you're going to click on settings, then you're going to click on more business settings. And so that's gonna open up a page that looks like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to data sources and then you're gonna click on pixels. And then all of your pixels are gonna show up here. If you're running a brand new ads manager or business manager account, then nothing is going to be set up here and it's gonna be blank for you. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on add and it's gonna ask, ask you to name your pixel and then it's gonna ask you to enter your website URL. And then once you're done, you're gonna click on continue. And then this little box is going to pop up and it's gonna ask you if you wanna set up your pixel later or if you wanna set it up now. So obviously we wanna set it up now. And so Facebook is incredibly smart when it comes to figuring out who's hosting your website. So for me, my website is through Squarespace and that's why you see Squarespace showing up here. So depending on whether you're with Wix or if you're with Shopify or a whole bunch of different website providers, they're gonna show up here. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on whoever your third-party integration uh, website is with, and it's gonna give you the steps on how you can add the pixel to your website, and it's really simple to do. If you do not have a third-party integration connected with Facebook, it's going to ask you to set up your website's code manually, and I strongly suggest that you contact your website host or provider and ask them to assist you with this so that you don't have to deal with the code or anything like that. Most website providers are very happy to help you with this. And so once you're done, you're going to click on Setup Partner. I'm not gonna do this because I already have my pixel set up. And then what you're gonna see is your pixel's gonna show up here. And then the next thing you need to do is click on Add People. So what you need to do is add yourself as somebody who can manage and have full control over the pixel. And then you're gonna click Assign. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to also click on Add Assets and you're going to add your ad account to this pixel as well because the ad account has to be connected to the pixel. And so you're gonna click on the applicable ad account and then you're just gonna click add. And then in order to double check that your pixel is working correctly, what you're going to do is open in events manager after you click on open events manager this screen is going to pop up and it's actually going to start tracking events on your website so ideally your website should be up and running people should be visiting your website and it's slowly going to collect data over time and so if you have a product-based business then it's going to say things like initiate checkout purchase or add to cart and different things like that but because my website is service-based and i do scheduling and registrations and signups it's a little bit different so these values might look different from business to business okay and then it's going to track all the activity going on in your website and it's also going to show you your pixel id name here and it's also going to say which websites are connected and affiliated with that particular pixel so if you have added your pixel and set everything up as I've instructed you to do and you're not getting any events firing here, something is wrong and please reach out to me in the comments below and I'll happily take a look at it for you. But with that said, thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up on this video. Bye.